Hey guys, welcome back. And to all the bears out there, you need to be careful. Okay, you have to watch this video to the end and turn to bulls because Bitcoin gonna rally very, very massive rally upwards and you would not want to miss it. So to all the bears, you have to stop your shots and stop selling Bitcoin and watch this video to the end and do understand why. Hi, my name is Vincent Du and today, we're gonna look into Bitcoin's price action yet again and why the bears need to wake up. Okay, so you guys see on my chart right here, I have my MACD weekly time frame with the buying bit. And you can see the MACD crossing outwards. Previously in October, okay, previously in October 2023, we have MACD crossing outwards above the zero line. This indicates very, very strong momentum. Usually, okay, usually the crossing upwards happens below the zero line. And if, if we were to cross upwards again for the MACD, it means there's a second time momentum above the zero line and it's about to happen again. And why is this time different? Okay, why is this time different? Why is it not crossing downwards after it crossed upwards? Why, Vincent? Why are you so sure that it's gonna go up? after the cross. I'm gonna show you and tell you guys why. So if you guys can see, there's a lot of Twitter out there and already saying, and know that this MACD crossing is a very, very bullish signal. Can you guys can see MACD resets and MACD resets is happening right now. Okay, and you guys already know, halving, every halving, the halving cycle in the Q4, that's where Bitcoin starts to pump up. If you can see 2024, September, we already have 7%. October, we already have 7%. And if compared to the previous halving bull run cycle, 2022, okay, 2020, sorry, 2020, double digit increment, okay, double digit increment in the November and double digit increment in December, okay. So if we have experienced similar things happening, okay, look at that. 2020, okay, 2016, again, similar case happens. This all the, the cycle, okay, the bull run cycle, the halving cycle, and it's almost like a market sentiment because everybody is looking at it and they all know they're going to increase the pump, it's going to pump, so they're going to invest, right, follow the market sentiment, follow the trend, guys. So if you can see over here in my Twitter, if you guys follow my Twitter, link in description below i'm stating that i'm accumulating bitcoin right now and i'm accumulating long okay why do i want to do that because i want to spread out my risk guys i want to spread out my risk if bitcoin were to drop i'm going to accumulate lower price so that the average entry will be lower right the average entry will be lower i already entry at 66.7 okay and then i have my last entry at 68.5 which is a higher bit okay higher bit and i'm gonna wait Right at 69 and 70, right? This is our stop limit long later. I'm gonna show you that. Or if the price were ever to retest downwards, I'm gonna accumulate at 66k and 65k. And why am I so sure? Why am I so sure it's gonna break up? Right? If you guys follow my Twitter, okay, I say that bit the Bitcoin after crossing upwards in the MACD is gonna to go to the liquidity area. Okay, it's gonna to go to the liquidity area. Right? Why is it different this time? So if you can see the chart, okay, retail, right, retail draw lines, okay, if you look at that, retail draw lines, so you have to draw lines to see what they see, okay, when they draw lines, they know it's near res resistance, I'm going to sell some Bitcoin, right? I'm going to short the Bitcoin right now, but if you compare it to the previous weeks, okay, compare the previous weeks, this time, the week, okay, the week is this line right here, it's very small, okay, look at that. Compared to the previous one, that is very long. This time is very small. And why is that? Because smart money is accumulating. Okay, you guys do know that there's a lot of news recently. Two billion inflow of ETF just this week of Bitcoin alone. Okay, smart money is accumulating Bitcoin. And it's accumulating as they know. The bull run starts when the retail money foremost comes in. Okay, so there's a small week compared to the previous one and the MACD is crossing upwards, okay? The MACD is crossing upwards from here, and it already crossed. We have 16 hours left for the candle close 
And if the candle closes with this MACD crossing upwards, that's the indication of the bull run, just like the previous one. Okay, and the price target, how far will be the price target? Okay, I would say it's very similar to this price target. The, the percentage gain over here, and if you were to draw it back up here, I would say, okay, minimum, minimum 100k. And when will we see that? I would say we can see it in Christmas, guys. We will see it at Christmas. Okay, that's why I'm accumulating right now. Okay, I am accumulating Bitcoin. If it goes down, I'm accumulating it. It goes up, I'm also accumulating it. Okay, I'm accumulating both ways. And if you guys do know, there are a lot of liquidity outwards. There's so much liquidity outwards and they're shorting Bitcoin right now. So if they hit all this stop, right, all these shots, they have a short squeeze and I gotta pump it upwards. So what is short squeeze? Uh? Short squeeze is where all the shots are forced to liquidate themselves, liquidate that position, hence they have to buy back. Okay, they have to buy back. So the exchange will use their money to buy back the Bitcoin. Okay, the exchange will not lose money. And therefore, we can see a pump upwards, right? A very, very fast pumps upwards with all the short squeeze, causing all the market inefficiency. Hence, we're gonna see the all time high very, very soon. Okay, I predict it's gonna be next week. Okay, so if you guys don't know about that, why am I so, so strong towards the bullish? Because you already know the US elections in the November is coming in very, very near. Trump's winning, right? Trump's winning by 60 plus percentage, by 60 plus chance of Trump winning. And you already know Trump's pro Bitcoin. Okay, Trump's about Bitcoin. And global liquidity, okay? The Feds are cutting the rates. More, li more liquidity will be injected to the market. If you guys do know about that, gold right now is the highest it's ever been. Okay, you guys see the price right now. Gold is the highest right now, all time high yet again and again. Okay, we see the spot market right. The stock market is at the highest yet again. Bitcoin, Bitcoin have to follow suit, guys. These are all assets. Okay, stock market is performing, big, right? Gold is performing. Why not Bitcoin? Okay, Bitcoin must perform. If you go, if you know, okay, dollar strength index with the US having that debt increasing year by year. Just recently, okay, just recently, right, US add up 200 billion of debt, right, national debt, and their dollar strength will go down. Surely, when it goes down, right, when it goes down, that's where the bull run really kicks in. Okay, we have a strong support right here. If the dollar strength were to go down, breaking below this support, that's where the bull coin, bit, right, bull run really, really kicks off. Okay, so if you guys already know, FTX gonna pay out, FTX gonna pay out with 16 billion. You guys have no idea how much is 16 billion, guys. Okay, you have no idea how much 16 billion. Okay, the inflow, this week alone is two billion, and we see this green candle. How about sixteen billion? Right, eight times that. Right, eight times the two billion inflow. It's gonna be very high, and the retail formal gonna kicks in after all this happens. So bull run just commence, and you don't even know it. Okay, the rate cuts gonna cut soon at November seven. Okay, quantitative easing, more liquidity to inject into the market. So to all the best gotta start turning long okay if you guys already know i am longing already in my buy bit and i'm having so many limit longs and to stop longs as well because i don't want to miss out this bull run okay i don't want to miss out this bull run no short zone right now and i have this liquidity protection okay this is my short hedging if for the worst case scenario something really bad happened with like a black swan okay i have my shots to protect against myself and it's gonna go back out, right? If it's gonna go back out, I'm gonna put the BE, right? Break even stop loss here. If it goes down and it's gonna go back up again, I'm gonna start accumulating yet again. As I know, my price target is 100K. That's why I'm not scared, right? I'm not scared. So if you guys want to learn about, you know, bots trading, algo trading, I'm doing that as well. And I have this two days right two days free algo webinar right my upcoming webinar is 28 29 i just had my webinar recently at 17 to 18 october 
and it was a blast. Okay, it was a blast. Everybody was so grateful. Okay, everybody was so grateful. And my upcoming one is at 28-29. Sign up in the link in the description below and learn algo trading. Okay, and my final word to all the best, you need to start turning long. Okay, you need to stop shorting. Right? It's very, very crazy. If you guys see all these settlements and you guys still want to short Bitcoin, still want to sell Bitcoin, I don't know what to say to you. Okay, as you guys already know, MACD is about cross outwards. This is the ultimate bull ride indicator. Right? I'll see you in the next week. Peace.